Now for this cat drawing, I'm going to use 200 pound watercolor paper and uh, pay attention to my reference photo here. Find a comfortable position on the paper for the, for the head, the size and the height and width. And I need uh, guidelines here. The head's on a bit of an angle, so I want to center line and uh, position these ears. Just looking for uh, proportions. Constantly looking at my reference. But halfway between the top of the head and the chin, I'll place the eyes. get an idea exactly how wide that hit's going to be. I like the eye just about one eye width apart. And then it should be, you know, that's maybe the bottom of the nose. I think the nose should be about halfway between the center of the eyes and the bottom of the chin too. Just compare that with your reference photo. Your, your uh, shapes will be a little different than mine. If you work from your own pet photos. Yeah, just doing a little refinement. Make sure I got the position. I don't want too much graphite on the paper because I'm going to paint this later. But I need some good uh, some good marks that'll show up even after the washes go down. So I'm kind of balancing how much graphite I put down with, uh, with how dark the actual washes are going to be. I'd like to give myself a little bit of um, indication about the eyes. They're, they're the most detailed part of the portrait. So even though they're going to be covered with uh, masking fluid, I'd like to make sure I'm I've got them well balanced. For the painting. 